Welcome to a special presentation of the NBA on Christmas Day here on 2K Sports. We want to wish each and every one of you a Merry Christmas. And in our matchup tonight, we'll see the New Jersey Nets going up against the Boston Celtics. Kevin Harlan here with Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg, and our sideline reporter is David Aldridge. Well, playing on Christmas Day, Clark, has to be a little bittersweet for these players. Am I right? Absolutely, Kevin. Every player wants to play on the biggest stage, but you're missing out on some quality time with your family at home around the special holiday. And yet, you recognize as a player, that's part of your lot. Now here's Kidd in the game against Chicago. He was very impressive. Jefferson passing to Kidd. Just five to shoot. Outside for Jefferson. And the pass to Kittles. Kid with it. Kid, such a great two way threat who makes everybody around him better. What a player. First trip to the line for him here. And to look at his percentage from the line, you see him at 89%. That's an indicator of what a consistent stroke he has. Guys, I don't think there's any doubt that the work he's put in practicing free throw Two shooting shot. has paid off. I mean, he's made nice strides in getting those shooting percentage numbers up. A free throw drops for Kidd. Free throws good from Kidd. Just solid. Really one of the very best there is at the free throw line. Pass to Williams. He kicks to Walker. With some arc. And they pick up two. Against contact, Walker can still be very effective. He can beat you a lot of different ways. Just over a minute played here in the start of the game. Passes it to Kidd. Over Bremer. Kidd with another miss. Boy, he's got to be disappointed in the result there. I mean, the defender really didn't make any impact at all. At the elbow, William. Pass to Walker. The pass to Bremer. But three. Wow, drew the contact, and that three almost went in. So he'll go to the line for three free throws. The Celtics shooting their first foul shots of the night here. Three shots. First one falls. And the second free throw, good. And 
And he makes all three. So first quarter just over a minute and a half in. Now here's Kidd. Very solid contribution from him as he averages over 20 points a game. There's Kenny Martin on the assist by Kidd. Kidd doing a nice job shredding the defense in the pick and roll. His passing instincts, platinum level phenomenal. Walker against Martin. Petit dishes to Walker. Petit controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. Tremendous hustle working hard for that bucket. For New Jersey, they've gone one of three for the field to start this one so far. Pass to Kidd. Cowan setting the pick for Kidd. Misses the wing jail. Celtics leading by three. Right wing. Back to Walker. Passes to Bremer. Dishes it to Batie. Nice ball movement by Boston. Five on the clock. Williams finds Walker. And the three off target. Last outing for the Nets. They won that game against the Bulls. Kidd passes to Kittles. Now here's Kidd. Defense right on him. The shot from the low post is good. That is how you use the shot fake, folks. The Celtics have gone two for four from the field so far today. Bremer passes to Batie. Outside Williams. Pass to Walker. Batie dishes to Walker. The pass to Dell. That's no good. Misses his first shot of the night. New Jersey trailing. To the inside. And finished off by Jefferson. The superb basketball IQ of Jason Kidd. Scanning and surveying the whole floor. And then zeroing in on the ready shooter. Here's Bremer. He really had an off game against the Cavaliers. Never got into his rhythm. They get a hand on it. There's the three. The rebound by the Celtics. Tough loss coming against Cleveland in their last game play. Total embarrassment. I, I was shocked at how poorly they played. I, I think they were shocked. Yeah, and you know, those losses really hurt when you can't get anything going your way, everything's going against you. Very frustrating. And, and that's exactly what he's looking for, draining the triple. Kid passes to Collins. Kicks it to Jefferson. And he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three-point play chance here for him. Good job concentrating. Even though he was well defended, Jefferson able to knock it down. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. Numbers this year at the line below 70, so when he's getting to the line, not nearly as effective as you'd like. You know, his free throw percentage has dropped this year, but not really enough to raise any red flags or to become alarmed about it. Here's Bremer. And they get some nice contributions from him on a nightly basis as he averages over 11 points a game. Walker against Mark. Here's Delk. And he finishes it off with a one-handed jam. Just focusing on the task at hand. That's all you can do. Yeah, these teams trading punches right now. I mean, it's table tennis. Back and forth we go. Now, here is Mark. Another key contributor to that nice win against Chicago. 20 feet out. Another one falls for New Jersey. Well, you got to respect kids' decision making. I mean, this guy is so good in the pick and roll, and he's comfortable passing. 
or shooting. Here's Williams. Nothing on the board. Walker dishes to Williams. Here's Bremer. Shot clock at five. And the rebound goes to Martin. The Nets with the lead. Jefferson with it. Williams picks him up. Outside Jefferson. Here's Kidd. Walker with the rebound. And so it's Walker with it who brings it up for the Boston Celtics. Stolen. Here's the break. Kittles passes to Kidd. He feeds it to Collins. And it's going to be out of bounds. New Jersey will retain possession. Celtics on D. They trail by one. Outside Jefferson. Just five on the clock. Out left to the wing. Here's Kidd. Another miss by Kidd. The Celtics have gone four of ten shooting the ball here in the first quarter. And here's Walker. His last outing we saw him pour in 22. Batie the pass to Dell. goes jamming that one home this tug of war game continues and guys that's lucky number seven already in this game right side kid pass to Kittles the Nets need to get a shot off here Jefferson with the three and grabs the miss. Batiste's got four rebounds in this game. Williams passes to Dell. Now Jefferson. Five points in the game. Outside Kid. Passes it to Collins. He dishes it to Jefferson. And again, it's the Nets missing. The Celtics have gone just a shade under 50% from the field. 5 of 11. Here's Delk. Nine points last game. Feeds it to Batie. And he banks in the layup. Now it's a three-point Celtic lead. And really, it's been a major aspect of their offense in the early stages here. Their success working the ball inside and getting points from close range. And the Nets decide to take their first time out here. Celtics making a change here. 
Now we get a chance to check out the standings out east already. We are in December. You look at the Nets, earning the first place position with a terrific record, and we've seen them perform splendidly pretty much all season long so far, and they're definitely the team to beat. And checking out Boston, they're in the sixth position. And you know, for New Jersey, they had a few critics coming into the season, and now I don't think they have any. This is a club ready to not only make a deep run, but possibly win it all. They do have the pieces in place for a title run, but the competition in the playoffs will be stiff. Now here's Jefferson. He has five. A nice shot by Harris. A total defensive collapse. I mean, no reason to allow him that kind of space from behind the arc. Here's Delp. Pass to Baker. The pass to McCarty. Takes the three. And the Celtics another three. The real come at us, and we're coming right back at you. A little back and forth from long range. I love it. That's a terrific answer there. Now, here's Collins. No scoring in this one. Harris' shot is good. And he found the perfect spot behind the arc there. Big gap in the deep. Here's Cole. Pass to Baker. Here's Delp. Fires the three. It's rebounded by Jefferson. And even with good coverage defensively that time, he has confidence to drill the three. Johnson, the pass to Collins. The dish to Jefferson. No one near him. And finish off by Collins. Yeah, coaches pet peeve there no box out those are free points you're giving away you gotta work harder on the glass here's Delp he's a good contributor to his team averaging about ten and a half points a game there's a good screen here's Baker defended by Jefferson passes it to McCarty To the paint. Here's Baker. And down it goes. Dunk through off a wonderful assist. Boy, Ben Baker really is a problem for the defense when he's locked in. I mean, solid at hitting the glass and does a good job on the offensive boards. Now, here's Collins. Eight points his last outing. Jefferson. Oh! oh! Jefferson can bounce now, and he's strong, capable of some ferocious throwdowns. We've got 118 left to play in the first. One oh six left in the first quarter. Here's Cole. Guarded by Harris. Pass to Delk. A three ball. And the three ball is good. It has been nip and tuck through the first half. Exactly, guys. The way it seesawed back and forth, unbelievable. Now, here's Johnson. Hasn't made one yet. And, and the definition of teamwork right there on that alley-oop. And, Greg, what about the finish? Bringing it down with some Impressive. thunder. Yeah. I'll tell you what, I think the pass was even better. I mean, that was room service delivery at its finest. Here's Cole. After Richard Jefferson's basket, 17-foot shot on the way. Shots good by Cole. Pick works well there. Not much resistance from the D. Yeah, that's not the defense you need. You've got to be tougher defensively. Johnson, the pass to Collins. He kicks it to Jefferson. Here's the three. The rebound by Baker. Boston has gone three of five from three-point land so far in the ballgame. Here's Delp. With one on the clock, and he drops that one in. And now a three-point Boston lead. And still a close game as the first quarter comes to a close. Celtics lead by three. After this break, we'll be back with the start of the second quarter on 2K Sports.
And we welcome you back to NBA action, a great tradition, Christmas Day basketball here on 2K Sports. And what do you guys think about Boston here in this one? Well, when you control the glass, you control the second chance opportunities on both ends. And, you know, their rebounding advantage has been glaring, simply outworking them on the boards for that entire first quarter. Now here is Harris. He picked up 18 points in their last win against Chicago. Ripped away. Walker with it. It's Brown on the wing. Guarded by Harris. McCarty the pass to Baker. Kicks it to Walker. Down to five on the shot clock. Rodgers pulls it in. Good offense squaring up against better D there. You got to appreciate that stop. And Rodney Rodgers with the slam. And some hang time on the rim. Puts a little cherry on the top of that slam. Well, those kind of displays of strength can get one team rolling. And can put the other team on its heels. We'll see how it plays out. Now here's Kidd. Six points for him. And there's the pass to Rogers For three. And Boston with the rebound. When this game is done, they'll be off to Miami to take on the Heat. In the midst of a four-game road trip right now. That'll be game number three. Brown outside. They set the pick. Over Williams. Shoots. Score the basket. His second of two attempts. A big change to the playoff format, Greg. The first round is up to best of seven. It was best of five. Yeah, and no one is complaining about more playoff games. The intensity is incredible, but it'll be interesting to see if we have less upsets. Oh, that's a great find by Matumbo, a guy who always seems to make the right play. And here's Walker. Five points in the game. Brown feeling it out a bit. Here's McCarty. The shot's good. Brown making the play. He's got five. And a little under two and a half minutes gone by here in the second quarter. Kid passes to Matumbo. He kicks to Harris. Carries it down low. Harris has got the game tied up here for the Nets. So it's the Celtics now. Here's McCarty. He's averaging a bit over five points a game. Outside, Walker for the three. Zakembe Matumbo grabs the rebound. Brown against Harris. Pass to Kidd. Now Matumbo. Passes to Harris. And here is Kidd. And in the second quarter, a little under three and a half minutes played already. And it's Williams finishing it off. Kidd, one of the most remarkable passers I've ever seen. I mean, a pass first point guard, he sets you up in room service style. Here's McCarty. Nine point game, his last outing. Pass to Walker. Jacks up a three. New Jersey with the rebound. He is single-handedly dropping the temperature in here with that cold streak. And he's got to find other ways to contribute then because his shot making is not happening right now. Now here's Kidd. Six points for him. Five to shoot. Beyond the arc. Out to Harris. Takes the three. That's his fourth basket of the game, and he's only taken four shots off to a good start. Not sure what the defense was thinking. I mean, you can't leave this guy open from deep. Here's McCarty. He has five. Outside, Walker to end the run. Hits it from three-point range. Walker's got eight points. The real. Come at us, and we're coming right back at you. A little back and forth from long range. I love it. That's a terrific answer there. 
Now, here's Matumbo. Scoreless thus far. Harris kicks to Williams. Rodgers against Walker. Launches it. That one, no good. Boston's gotten into trouble with the through ball in the second quarter. Only hitting one of five attempts. Count that bucket. And that's now 10 points for Walker. And if you're the guy who has to guard him, it is never going to be an easy night for you. Kid passes to Matumbo. Down low, Rodgers. Rebound by the Celtics. Baker's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Now the pass to Brown. Off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. Hey, guys, they continue to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders with their work down low. Outside kid. That's to Matumbo. Harris looking it over. To the middle, the Nets looking the ball around now. And too much time in the lane. They get called for the three-second violation. Some changes for Boston. Batiste checked in, and it's Williams in for Brown. The Celtics with the lead. Greg, everything they're doing is working right now. Good run they have going right now. The momentum is huge. Passes it to Williams. Outside, Walker. Shot clock at five. Over Martin. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Oh, aggressive play by Walker. Not allowing the defense to cut him off completely there with the foul. For Boston, they have gone three for three at the line tonight. First free throw is good. Antoine Walker possesses great versatility for a big guy. Excellent at stretching the floor with his shooting. And a big man who does a lot of different stuff on offense. Richard Jefferson. He's checked in for New Jersey. Harris comes in for Kidd. No good on the second free throw. Nets trail by three. Jefferson inside. Nine points in the game so far. And it goes down two points. Jefferson's got 11 points. Taking advantage of the look he can find from the mid-range. Right on target from Jefferson. Rummer passes to Dell. All alone. And it hung on the rim but wouldn't fall for him. Here's Kittles. Still without a basket. Harris finds Martin. Outside Jefferson. Pass to Martin. Over Walker. Martin with the bucket. You can tell Martin has a willingness to want to expand his range and quite honestly looking real confident with the mid-range jump shot. Here's Bremer. Up top Walker. Covered by Martin. And there's the call on Jefferson. That's his first foul. Baker, who's checked in for Walker. Team foul. Substitution for the Celtics. Number 42, Vin Baker. On defense, the Nets. Out to the right wing. And there's the pass to Bremer. Here's the screen from downtown. Collins grabs the miss. New Jersey has gone two for five from three-point land since the end of the first. Kept alive, Jefferson dishes to Harris. Outside, Martin. Back to Harris. Floats one. Here's Collins. And three chances on that possession, but they just couldn't find a way to score. Bremer passes to Batie. Now here's Williams. Defense! 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 
over Jefferson. Williams gets the bucket. And the Celtics lead by one. You talked about a back-and-forth game. This is the definition. You have to love these kinds of games, scoring-wise, keeping everybody on their toes. And block. That one goes careening off the glass. Harris finds Jefferson. Martin with it. Outside Cowan. Jefferson passing to Kittles. Just four to shoot. Martin dishes to Jefferson. Hands it from downtown. Jefferson's got 14 points. It's always big when Jefferson catches fire because he's a terrific player when he's aggressive. Here's Jelk. He has five. Fires the three. There it is, his third basket. He's taken seven shots to get those three. The real come at us, and we're coming right back at you. A little back and forth from long range. I love it. That's a terrific answer there. Now a timeout called by New Jersey. Kids checked in for New Jersey. Austin also with the sub. Walker's checked in for Baker. It's the Nets now. Right side Jefferson. Has to kid. Inside. Whistle blows. That's going to be a travel. That is just a careless turnover. You've got to be smarter in those exchanges. Getting another opportunity here to see that powerful rejection. And that is a huge block given how close this game is. A stop like that was right on point. Boston's gotten a lot of looks for outside tonight. Five of 12. Here's Bremer. He's covered by Kidd. Outside Williams. Martin against Walker. Six to shoot. Here's Petit. Kicks to Williams. On the wing, Walker. Covered by Martin. Walker in the post. Working on Martin. Walker the pass to Delk. To the inside. Walker's shot is off. 
New Jersey has gotten half their shots from three-point range to go down in the second quarter. Three of six from downtown. Pass to Collins. 133 left in the second quarter. They get it again to the left side wing. Kittles, a three-pointer is right on target. Kittles has got himself going there. His first points of the game on the deep ball. Here's Bremer. The pass to Batie. Dishes it to Walker. And he lobs it up toward the rim. It's a lie. Goodness. Say, say that one. I, I want to see that again. Me too. Just absolutely beautiful. Virtually impossible to top that alley -oop. Kid kicks to Collins. There's 53 seconds left to play here in the second quarter. Stolen by Walker. Pass to Bremer. Williams against Collins. Outside, Walker. Pass to Dell. Clock at six. Pulls it from the elbow. Shots good by Williams. Williams has got four this quarter. The entire defense was frozen footed. Nobody picked up the shooter. Kid passes to Martin. The rebound by the Celtics. Matisse got six rebounds now in the game. Outside, Walker. New Jersey foul call. Kerry Kittles. First personal foul. Third team foul. Six seconds left in the first half. Here's Walker. Yeah, how about the reach there by Martin? He is a physical defender who looks to contest everything. And a close game so far through the first two quarters as we reach halftime. Austin on top, up by two. And don't go away. After the break, we'll see you right back here for the start of the third quarter. We've got second half action for you, and if the next couple quarters are similar to the first, this one could go down to the last possession. Richard Jefferson really making a difference here. And he was an absolute monster on the offensive glass in that first half. I don't know how you slow him down. And you know what, guys? I think it starts with having a body on him every time a shot goes up. I mean, they've got to do a better job boxing out. And after a fairly even first couple of quarters, the second half could turn out to be a great one as both teams try to gain an edge. Here's Bremer. Passes it to Walker. And the foul called on Kenyon Martin. That'll be his second foul of the game. I mean, I like the call. I thought the defense was just there a little late. Yeah, it looked like it. I mean, he kind of slid underneath as he got to the spot, too. Nets on defense. The pass to Walker. Just five on the clock. There's the screen. Looking to get back on track here. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. These are his third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. Not the best statistic for him in terms of his performance at the line. Very low numbers. And somehow it's become a real struggle at the free throw line. He's lost his way there. I mean, he's not having anywhere near the same success he had there last season. And that one falls for Walker. So after making the first, he goes one for two. Nets trail by three. 
Down low, here's Kittles, and he makes it look easy, dunking it hard with one hand. And he's an automatic finisher when he gets into that area. He is, and he picks the simple one-hand stuff to get the two points. Hey, guys, I know I'm stating the obvious here, but those could be an important two points considering how close this game is. Here's Delp after the basket by New Jersey. Pass to Bremer. Fires the three. Good, and it's Williams who picks up the assist. Bremer's got the lead up to four now for the Celtics. New Jersey has gone past the three-point line for 13 of their shots. They're six of 13. Kidd passes to Jefferson. Martin with it, guarded by Walker. And it's Martin missing. Austin leading by four. And we're just about a minute and a half into the third quarter of basketball. There's the steal. And here's the fast break. Here's Kittles. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the contact. The Nets shooting their fourth and fifth attempts at the free throw line tonight. First one falls for him. He doesn't get the second one. Celtics leading by three. Has to dealt. The shot comes out. Jefferson with some nice D. The net shooting 48% from the field. Not bad at all. To the middle. Here's Kittles. Nice D from Williams. Boston shooting 52% from the floor. Nice work so far from them. Pass to Batie. He kicks it to Walker. To the paint. Six on the shot clock. A team. Good work defensively by Mark. You know, even though it's a point-blank range shot, that's not an easy one, especially when the defense is that tight. And the shot goes in from Kittles. Great dime that time from Jefferson, the swing man, who knows how to find his open teammates, too. The Celtics have gone one of three since starting the second half. Outside Williams. Outside Walker. The three. Nailed from three-point land. Walker's got 15. And an eye for an eye. Both teams working to stretch the floor. Nothing like answering back. One team gets three. You fire three of your own. Boom. Now here's Jefferson. He's got 14. And the pass to Martin. Here's Kittle. Jefferson passing to Martin. That's it five from 18. And there's Jason Kidd on the assist by Martin. He's got eight. Kidd will take whatever you give him out there now. Very opportunistic as a shooter. Outside Williams. From deep, Walker. Here's Batine. He dents the rim with a two-handed slam. Wow. Good to see a player going all out when the game's this tight. You know, G.A., he knows what his job is. Patrol the offensive glass. You know, that time I thought he did it with authority. Tremendous putback at a time when they really need it. So it's New Jersey now. After the basket by Boston. Here's Collins. Walker with the rebound. Walker's got his sixth rebound on the night. Pass to Bremer. Pass to Dell. 
Ties it from 19, and he gets it to go. Now it's a five-point Celtic lead. Pick works well there. Not much resistance from the D. Yeah, that's not the defense you need. You've got to be tougher defensively. He lobs up the alley -oop pass. And pushing it up, here's Boston. It's stolen by Jefferson. In transition, here come the Nets. And they call the foul, so he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. You gotta love his hustle, leaving the defense no time to react. And you know you're gonna get those buckets, guys, when you're quick to get out on the break. Get that ball up the court as fast as you can. Walker's got the ball here for Boston. A two-point game. Williams passes to Bremer. Back to Williams. Here's Bremer. Six points for him. Just five to shoot. Gets an open look and hits. Bremer's got eight points. So it's New Jersey now. Outside, Kid. Right side, Collins. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. The Nets shooting their seventh and eighth attempts at the foul line tonight. And they've been ordinary on the season as well, just about 75% from the line. And guys, that's really an upgrade over how they shot last season. Not a huge upgrade, but an upgrade nonetheless. And that one falls for Collins. And so Collins nails both of them. Boston's gone two or three when they ventured outside the arc in the third quarter. Rummer passes to Williams. And a wide open look for Walker. That drops, and it comes off an assist from Williams. Williams has got three assists in the game. The feed to Martin. And finished off by Martin. And this is Martin at his best, getting that deep position and putting on the hard hack there and attacking the rim. Here's Delp. He's got 10. He set the pick. Kicks it to Batie. And out of bounds as New Jersey gains possession. Well, I think that pass caught him off guard, but he showed us board hands, too. And the Nets with possession here. They trail by three. Timeout call. The Nets.
And here are the Nets now. Kidd passes to Jefferson. Passes it to Martin. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. And this is where Martin can really hurt you, which is why defenses resort to fouling him. And a chance to catch up on some numbers here. Scoring breakdown for Boston. Guys, the D hasn't had an answer for the three-point shooting, which is why they continue to just fire away from deep. And the thing I've seen that I've really been impressed by is they've gotten everybody involved. Unselfishly making that extra pass, getting that ball to the right guy at the right time for the good shot. That one is off. And Martin seems to have his game face on all the time. Plays with a lot of ferocity. A high-flying forward who gets after it on defense. Harris is checked in for the Nets. Baker, he's checked in for the Celtics. And he sinks the second. Boston has gotten going here in the second half from outside, nailing three of four from the arc. The pass to Williams. Pass to Bremer. Down low. The kick out to Williams. Four on the shot clock. From the top of the key, Kittles grabs the board. And not allowing the shooter even an inch of breathing room on that one. And guys, that's exactly the kind of high-impact defense they want to see out of him. Here's Bremer. He's got eight. Outside Williams. Inside. Here's Baker. Banked in off the glass. Baker's got his third basket of the night. Fantastic work from the big fella inside. Baker's teammates know he can do damage in there. Outside Collins and Jefferson. Here we go. Collins kicks to Harris. Back to Collins. To the inside. Jefferson out to Harris. The tray. A rebound by the Celtics. Here's Bremer. They set the screen. And again, Boston with the triple. And they've got to talk to you, each other on D there. Miscommunication. And now he's able to make them pay. Harris passes to Collins. He dishes it to Jefferson. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. Celtics leading by seven. Pass to Bremer. The dish to Williams. Passes to Bremer. For three. They get it back. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. Baker's got the lead up to nine now for the Celtics. Putting in the effort to get a second chance look. Nice. Harris kicks to Mark. Back to Harris. Shot to stop the run. Wow, came this close to a four-point point. Boy, he'll head to the line for three free throws. Yeah, he, there was definitely some contact there on the three-point attempt. You have to avoid fouls like that. As a defender, challenge the three-point shooter, but run by him, not into him. And he can't get the first one. Al Clark, a lot of folks are saying the NBA is getting back to being a guards league. 
Do you think they're right? I'm not quite ready to go that far, Kevin. Guards certainly have an impact and influence on the game, but a dominant big man is still the primary weapon in the game and has a little more value than outstanding guard play. But it is interesting to see the NBA does have an awful lot of talent on the perimeter. Good on the second free throw. the third. Celtics leading by seven. Here's Bremer. 11 points in the game. There's the pass to Dell. Shot clock at six. Martin with the block. Got to be careful around Mark. Kenya Mark's athleticism allows him to send shots in reverse with force. Nice work to get it inside and draw the contact. Exactly. The defense determined not to allow the easy layup right there. They'll settle for making him earn the free throws. Shooting two. free throw missing and Baker has proven to be an efficient scorer also will hit the glass hard a nightly double double threat and he misses the second one as well so he is 0 for 2 that time here's Kittles carries it from three point range Kittles has got 12 points in just the second half and you're asking for more trouble than you can handle if you're going to let him just roam free from beyond the arc. Here's Bremer, guarded by Harris. Here's Baker. Again, the miss by the Celtics. That's trail by four. Jefferson inside. Rebound by Williams. And it's Williams with the ball for the Boston Celtics. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. And he gets the whistle for the three-second call. And now let's take a look again at that incredible rejection. And this is why coaches stress the importance of defense. Big block there in this close game. <laughs> Vanettes are gone at a pretty good shooting pace. They're 6 of 13 from the field here in the third. Johnson, the pass to Matumbo. And finished off by Jefferson. And you can see him give a little nod and then just burst to the rim for the alley oop slam. A pair of teammates, Greg, with a terrific feel for each other. And I tell you what, guys, that's a big play to make in a close game. Potential momentum builder there. There's Baker after Richard Jefferson's basket. Well, that's a good player missing from point blank range. That's one you got to convert. Here's the teardrop. Harris, no good. Austin's gone four or six from three point land since the start of the second half. Here's Dell. He's guarded by Johnson. Offensive rebound. Second shot opportunity. Here's Dell. And at last, they get one to fall. Delk's got 12. It's never easy trying to keep him off the glass. He's an absolute beast down there. Johnson, the pass to Matumbo. For three, Harris. No, it doesn't go. His fourth miss in eight attempts. Austin leading by four. Brown outside. Pass to Delk. 
Here's McCarty. They set the pick. Pass to Baker. And he jams it in. Threw it down, and Baker scared the rim in the process. Clock management, this is where they can get a two-for-one. And, Kevin, every opportunity counts. Passes it to Matumbo. Jefferson inside. Count it. Good. 18 points for him. Oh, that's terrific work on the inside from Jefferson, showing how comfortable he's become operating down low. Here's Delk, who's guarded by Johnson. Here's Delk. He's got 12. Five on the clock. Off target from three-point range. And we've watched three so far in this one. Celtics lead by four. And coming up as soon as we return from break, the fourth quarter gets underway. Well, what a terrific game it's been so far with this fourth quarter sure to bring more pressure-packed basketball. Nets trail by four. Outside kid. Matumbo kicks to Harris. Shoots over Brown. Harris's shot is good. Harris has got the fourth quarter going with the first basket of the period here for the Nets. Now Walker, Brown outside. The pass to McCarty. Outside, Walker, pass to Baker. A fader, the rebound by the Nets. Harris outside. Pass to Matumbo, he kicks it to Kidd. Rodgers passes to Kidd. Six on the shot clock. Good ball movement here by New Jersey. For three, Harris. Some solid defense from Brown. That is fantastic defense on one of the best three-point shooters in the league. Didn't give him an inch of room. Walker the pass to Baker. Back to Brown. Shoots a three. It's hauled in by Harris. And it's Harris with the ball for the New Jersey Nets. Here in the fourth quarter, their defense has been very strong, allowing no baskets. Now here's Matumbo. Harris outside. Overblunt. Another one falls for New Jersey. Second minute off the clock now in the fourth. Walker surveying the floor. To the middle. Baker with the bucket. And the Celtics lead by two. And the D not really doing its job there. A, a little slow to react to the ball getting into the paint. Just under two and a half minutes gone here in the final quarter. Here's Rodgers. Here's Matumbo. And it's the Kimbe with the jam. I mean, the one guy you have to box out. The Kimbe is so active on the way. Celtics have gone one of three from the field to start the fourth quarter. Passes to Baker. And it's Walker penetrating. One passes to Baker. Tries again, and that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle, and two shots coming up. It's going to be on Dikembe Mutombo. And sometimes Baker just too much for defenders, which is why this guy gets fouled so often. 
Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And the first one at the line is good. Collins checked in for the Nets. Armstrong comes in for Scalabrini. Boston also with the sub. Batiste checked in. And so he makes both from the line. Third minute of action now gone here in the fourth. Harris against Brown. Here's Kidd. Perfect on the shot. Swishes it through. Kidd's got it all tied up now for the Nets. Known as a pass first player, that's who Jason Kidd is. He doesn't shy away from shooting off the catch when he has opportunities. Now here's Walker. Here's McCarty. Boston, no good that time either. You know, defensively, you just can't afford to give him that much room. They're fortunate that he missed that one. I mean, even from over here, you can see that one pretty clearly. No question about it. I mean, a ton of contact and a good call by the officials. At the line for New Jersey, Harris. And the free throw is good, now leading by one. Johnson, he's checked in for Armstrong. Good on both. And we're about three and a half minutes into the fourth quarter. Here's McCarty. Outside, Walker. They double-team Walker. Lock at six. Pass to Baker. Kick out to Walker. They double team Walker. The pass to McCarty. Three pointer. Again, the miss by the Celtics. Here's Kidd. It's deflected. And he gets it back. Pass to Johnson. Harris outside. Harris draws the double. For three, Kidd. Collins dishes to Johnson. Outside for Kidd. At the elbow, Collins. They shoot again. The rebound by the Celtics. Here's McCarty. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. And a moment to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from for New Jersey. And they're playing beautiful basketball right now. Racking up the assists by playing so unselfishly. Just finding the open man. And, you know, on top of that, second chance points have been a major component for them. And I love the relentlessness they've shown on the offensive glass. That free throw, no good. So both teams changing it up here. the second from the line. 
New Jersey has gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. Kidd with it. Inside, stolen by Walker. Over Martin. 11 feet out, and he hits it. Walker's got 20 points. And you know, anytime Twan touches it, he is thinking one thing. Bucket. Kid kicks to Mark. Good ball movement here by New Jersey. Now here's Kid. Defense is right there. Just five on the clock. Let's the three fly. Knocks down the three ball. Kid's got five points now in the quarter. Well, the concentration from Kid at the arc, a big part of how he stays consistent from there. Rummer passes to Walker. To the inside. Here's Delk. New Jersey with the rebound. Well, you know, this is what happens. You can't afford to lose concentration even for a nanosecond. Stolen by Walker. And up the court come the Celtics on the break. Pass to Bremer. Dishes to Petit. Pass to Delk. Six to shoot. The Celtics need to get a shot off. From past the arc. Collins grabs the miss. Collins has got seven rebounds in the game. Right side, Jefferson. And there's the pass to Kittles. Walker against Martin. Pass to Collins. And it's going to be a 24-second shot clock violation. They turn it over. Boy, in a game this snug, you can ill afford to commit those kinds of turnovers. Williams, he's checked in for Boston. Boston trailer. Here's Bremer. Passes it to Williams. From deep. Walker. Boston. No good that time either. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. Outside Collins. Pass to Mark. And that one drops. And the Nets lead by four. Good to see Martin taking the aggressive path inside. He knows how effective he can be when he does that. Here's Bremer. He's covered by Kidd. Oh, and there's the alley-oop. Delp the pass to Bremer. Shot clock at five. They set the pick. Another miss, and they've really hit a rough patch here. Nets leading by four. Here's Kidd. Good. Kidd's got nine points here in the second half. One of the most impressive things about Jason Kidd in his position is his size and strength, which is how he's able to create for others, but also convert through contact. Time called here. The Celtics decide to talk it over.
I now I'd send it over to the sidelines and get a report from David Aldridge. Hi, Kevin. Well, the head coach for the Celtics talked to his team during the break. He said, look, you guys are playing physical, and I like that, but it has to be under control. We've committed way too many fouls. We've allowed way too many foul shots. Kevin? Okay, David, thanks. Celtics trail by six. Outside, Williams. They double-team Walker. Outside, Williams. Just five to shoot. To end the cold streak, sinks the three-pointer. A pretty free look for three-point range. The D forgot about him on that possession. I think that might have been intentional. It perhaps was not an accident because he's typically not the guy that's taking that shot at this stage of the game. Here's Kittles. Good in the assist to Kidd. Kittles has got 14 points now in the second half. And that's just cold-blooded right there. He's taking no prisoners. Guys, when you're this hot, it's elementary. Let it fly. Keep staying at it. Now, here's Walker. Offline with his three. And even without that three ball dropping for him, the defense should have done more on that last play. Outside, kid. From 15 feet away, Delt pulls it in. Celtics trail by five. Now the pass to Batty. Floats it up for Williams. And what an alley. Those two read each other so well. It's a play I'm sure they love to run. And as the receiver, he doesn't feel the need to go for the monster finish that time. I mean, laying it up for the two points worked out just fine. Now here's Kidd. Pass to Kittles. Takes a three. And the Nets, another three. I tell you what, I don't know what he did in the locker room, but he needs to do a little bit more of it because he's on fire. Zelda shooting in this fourth quarter pretty dire at 27%. Outside, Walker. Down low, stolen by Collins. Kittles passes to Martin. Kittles, no good. That's Walker with the ball, bringing it up for the Boston Celtics. Six-point game. Fundamentals, guys, using the one-hand slam. Well, he makes the basics look pretty exceptional. Now, I'd suggest that he stay with those basics because we've got a tight one here tonight. Here's Kittle. Wants to get it to Collins and does. A shot that time, not on target. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. That one on Jefferson. Oh, the officials are all over that one. Clearly a foul. I mean, didn't give him any choice but to blow the whistle. You got to play without foul. off on the free throw and able to get that second one to drop in. Hey, by missing that free throw now, a three could even the score. And Jefferson gets double teamed. Martin wide open. He fires. And the Nets miss again. Celtics trail by three. To the paint. Stolen by Collins. And now running up the court. Kid pushing it up. 
And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Normally, Kidd is pretty consistent from the line, but will that still be the case in the clutch? Drops the first one, and that gives them a four-point cushion. And so he drops them both. It's a five-point game. And he steps up and knocks them down, making it a two-possession game. Walker against Martin. Left side, Walker. This is it to Bremer. It's up a three. A rebound by the Nets. The basket here in this game may be all over. Yeah, but, but the main priority, Kevin, has to be taking care of the basketball and using the five. Third team At the line for two. And the first of two, no good. Heartbreaker. And he ends up making the second, and that increases their lead to six. And now called the Celtics. They trail by six. We've got 33 seconds left to play here in the fourth. What do you think, guys? Uh, trying to stay alive. They've got to work quickly. Okay, they're going to draw up a play here, I think, to get a shot right off of the inbounds pass to not waste too much time at all. Here's Delp. Timeout call, the Celtics. They're down by six. We've got 33 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Guys, what do you think? Yeah, trying to get back in this thing, they need a score. Yeah, and they need it hiccup fast. I mean, they'll be drawing up a quick hitter in the huddle here, no doubt.
Knocks it loose. Taken away by Kim. And so they choose to intentionally foul. Third person foul. Fourth team foul. the first one and that makes it a seven point lead. Second one is good. Getting both at the line and it's an eight point game. And so it's Walker with it who brings it up for Boston. Rebounded by the Nets. There's 21 seconds left in the fourth. Outside kid. And so it's New Jersey with the win. A confident win and one where they clearly showed the greater effort. Yeah, I mean, it was a solid performance, uh, particularly here at home. I think they built off that edge of being here and, and playing with just a little more confidence than their opponent. And that about wraps it up. For Clark Kellogg, Greg Anthony, and David Ulmer, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for watching the NBA presented by 2K Sports. And we'll see you next time.